It's been two decades since 23-year-old Sarah McDermott went missing near Frankston. Today her family reached out to others grappling with the disappearance of a loved one. They've launched a website in a bid to bring comfort and support to those who've experienced the unexpected loss of a family member. Peter and Sheila McDermott are still trying to find out what happened to their daughter two decades ago. I just feel that I would be letting my daughter down if I stood here today and said that I wouldn't ever see her again. On the 11th of July 1990, 23-year-old Sarah McDermott got off a train and walked through the car park at Cannanook Railway Station. It was the last time she was seen. Blood was found near her car and police suspect she was murdered, but a body has never been recovered. I'm convinced that uh, the people or persons involved in this um, will have disclosed things, will have, beha have behavioural issues. Today, Sarah McDermott's family returned to Cannanook Railway Station to mark the 20th anniversary of her disappearance and to launch a website for other families in a similar situation. In terms of people who can actually allocate the resources and, and commit the resources to give some of the support services that I think people in our situation need, that isn't there. The family will personally help other victims across Australia through notalone.com.au. I think that's probably why we decided we'd try to do an initiative like the website to give us something positive to think about. Police are offering a $1 million reward for information leading to a conviction in the Sarah McDermott case. Kirsten Vaness, ABC News, Melbourne.